My name is Orla McCabe and I am a senior lecturer in Childhood and Youth Studies and Sociology. Socrative is a student response system. It allows students to virtually respond to questions that on their mobile devices, so either on a mobile phone or a laptop or an iPad, that kind of thing. Um, students can just go into the software, log an account, and as a, as a teacher, we're given a room number. They put that room number in and then they can engage with whatever activities we put forward. So you can put forward things like quizzes, um, space race runs, um, you can do things like exit polls or just general polls as well. I am not um, very technologically minded normally. Um, this was introduced to me last year and it was really because I wanted to encourage peer learning, group dialogue and reflection within my sessions. Um, it was meant shown to me by another colleague and I thought I'll give it a go and see how it works and I've just found it so useful in so many ways. We use it to reflect on topic materials, I use it for study skills, it, you know, it, it's just become really embedded in much of the work that we do. For instance, this year I've used it for a diagnostic questionnaire with my students, um, which has enabled me to find out where they're up to in terms of the curriculum and the topics that we're looking at whether they understand them, whether they've had any previous experiences in those areas or they've got previous knowledge within those areas. And that's been a really good um, opportunity for me then to develop course material based on their existing knowledge. I use it in terms of quizzes. So for example, um, one of my units has a class test coming up every week. I've given the students a quiz based around the lecture and seminar materials. Um, and most importantly, I use it in terms of exit polls. And what an exit poll does is it allows the student to reflect on the content of the session. Uh, it identifies whether they've understood what's been said, whether they have any areas that they're not sure about, and whether they can identify any areas that they might need further support with in the future. And I found that to be really useful for a number of reasons. So firstly, um, it allows me to identify knowledge gaps that exist for the student. So therefore, I can reflect on action and immediately um, revisit that material. And I find that to be invaluable in my teaching practice. Um, another positive aspect of Socrative um, is that students can choose to be anonymous. So you can ask them to put their name down as a colour or to just not put a name down at all. But if you do need to know who the student is for the purposes of identifying whether there are issues, you can also ask them to put the student number down, um, which will then give you the opportunity to um, maybe put forward some kind of an intervention if needed in, in the future. That can help when you've got a large class. Importantly, obviously come September time, we have a new cohort of students and it sometimes takes a while for tutors to build a relationship with students and for students to feel confident in approaching unit materials or in dialogue or discussions within the, within the uh, lecture room or the classroom. I personally find that if I have a, a quieter um, cohort of students that Socrative can be an invaluable tool in generating discussion. Um, I have had those moments where we say, ask a question and there's complete silence for a good few minutes following that question. And I've actually reflected on action in a session a few weeks ago. Um, we were looking at a session on, on gender and feminism and I asked a few questions to the group and there was complete silence. People weren't willing to engage. And so I thought off quickly, I will create something really quickly on Socrative, a couple of questions and see if that promotes engagement. And it did. It drastically turned the whole session around to the point that afterwards I had lots of feedback from students who said, I'm so pleased that you did that because it gave me the opportunity to say something. I was really concerned that what I was going to say wasn't correct and that I would look silly in front of my peers and that kind of thing. So in, in those kind of ways, it's just 
completely fantastic. And I, and I found that as a direct consequence, uh, it's influenced the interaction of that group for the future. So since that session's taken place, now the students, even when I don't use Socrative, are much more willing to engage and interact. And it's really promoted that inclusive classroom. So I, I think that's been a really, really positive aspect. As a tutor, one of the things that is great is that I now have a bank of quizzes and a, a bank of polls and a bank of questions on my Socrative account that if I feel that a session maybe would benefit from it but I hadn't thought about that in advance, you can reflect in action and use something to help promote the learning or engage dialogue and that kind of thing when you're when, whilst you're in the teaching session. So it, it's not just a case of you know, leaving the room and thinking, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. It's something you can think, oh, actually, while I'm here, while I'm doing this now, I can just log on quickly and do this. And I've, I've just found that to be really useful in terms of uh, promoting collaborative learning and partnership learning. Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.